So my current setup, um, actually, can I look just quickly to make sure? Hi, my name is Josh Martin. I'm a first master investor and race team pilot. I started sim racing uh, back in 2013. I've been a long time motorsport fan, uh, you know, a huge uh, Schumacher, Alonso, Sebastian Vettel fan. Um, and for me, sim racing was the, the way to get closest to these guys. So uh, for me, the real passion was being able to kind of replicate what they were trying to do. Um, obviously not in the real world, but in the virtual world. Um, and it was really cool and exciting to be able to race, you know, those different cars and different tracks. Uh, and race online against my friends and against people across the world. It was like something I've never experienced. And for me, that was like so, so exciting and such a big draw. And it's the main reason I got into sim racing. What I like the most about sim racing is the fact that, like I say, you can compete with people all across the world. You can like, drive loads of different cars. For example, in the Ferrari Esports series, um, we've got four different rounds. We're racing in four different types of Ferrari. Um, and it's really, you know, a unique opportunity to test your skills in, in cars that handle very differently. Um, I think compared to other sports, you know, you don't get this diversity. Um, but with sim racing, you get this real opportunity to, to test yourself against the best in a whole variety of situations. My favorite game um, probably has to be either uh, Assetto Corsa 1 or Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, I was very fortunate to attend E3 in 2018 with Frostmaster, um, where we got to try the, the premiere of Assetto Corsa Competizione. And um, as someone who loves GT3 racing, this was like the best thing in the world. So for me, I think uh, playing a game like this and, and having the opportunity to drive loads of different GT3 cars is, is the perfect game for me. Yeah, so in terms of practice, I think for sim racers, we're very fortunate that we don't have to travel to a race circuit. There's no time to prepare a car. So in terms of practice time for myself, I'm quite lucky. Uh, usually I'll spend between six to eight hours a week, uh, depending on the amount of races I've got coming up. Um, for example, um, you know, looking at stuff like the uh, Frostmaster and the Ferrari Esports series. Uh, for this, because it's every four weeks, I have a bit more time to practice. Um, but it also depends on you know whether it's a team event or a personal event. So when I'm, I'm racing with my, my fellow Frostmaster ambassadors, we usually practice together as well. Um, so it's quite diverse and can change depending on the needs of the competition. So my current setup, uh, I use the Frostmaster TSPC Racer base. I've got the Ferrari SF1000 limited edition uh, rim on that. And then I've also got the t pedals uh, that combined with the, the Frostmaster Ferrari headset. Um, so, you know, a very strong Frostmaster uh, setup with uh, a lot of, you know, high, deal, uh, high fidelity in the pedals, uh, a lot of good force feedback through the base, um, and then all that information through the LED and the screen on the, the rim. So in terms of my inspirations, um, I've got a couple. Um, so looking at sim racing, you know, the, the likes of um, David Perel, uh, someone who's been successful in both the virtual and the real world, but, uh, you know, a driver who's very competent and uh, very passionate about what he does. Then looking more towards the real world, you know, Sebastian Vettel has been a huge inspiration of mine. Um, a driver that I've admired for his, his time before Red Bull, then obviously he had those, those great seasons and it's been a bit more difficult since, but um, having a driver like that who is just so naturally talented is, is very inspiring. And then my last one is Alonso. Um, I think a lot of people who, who watch this and who are racing fans will know that Alonso is one of the best in the world when it comes to overtaking. Um, I remember watching as a young kid, uh, watching him on the TV creating these amazing overtakes. Um, so for me, because of that, that race craft is a real inspiration as well. And that's kind of like my three main, main inspirations in the racing world. Uh, in terms of where my sim racing career will go, I, uh, I'm honestly not too sure. I've been very fortunate, um, you know, from my very early days, um, I had the, the support of Frostmaster. Um, so it meant that when I was racing, whether it was in F1 or a Corsa, um, I had the confidence that I could focus purely on driving, that I had solid equipment and that I had, you know, the support of a great manufacturer behind me. So, you know, over the past couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to represent Bentley at SRO Esports, um, obviously competing in the Ferrari Esports last season and this season. Um, and really, you know, as sim racing continues to evolve and grow, I think the opportunities are endless. So um, I'm not 100% certain where it will take me. Hopefully we'll get the opportunity to, to compete at some top level competitions again. Like I said, the Ferrari Esports is ongoing currently. Um, and I guess we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully it, it keeps going upwards.
Um, so I've got a couple of races and challenges ongoing at the moment. Um, the first one is the Ferrari Esports Series. Um, that We had the first round of that a couple of weeks ago at the Nürburgring. Um, and then towards the end of this month in September, we have got the next round um, at Monza. So that's a, a very competitive series. You know, obviously we've got Arnold Lecom, we've got Camille Pawlowski, um, a couple of the Frostmaster Rockets involved with myself. Um, it's a series that's, yeah, like I say, a lot of really strong talent and uh, I've got a bit of work to do there. And then outside of that, I'm also racing at the SimGrid. We've got the Sprint Cup Season 4, um, where we're, we're racing there and we're fighting for the, the championship win as well in, in Split 2, which is awesome. So uh, very busy, a uh, couple of different games. But like I said, the fact that, um, particularly with the, the Ferrari SF1000 rim, the fact that I can have that information feedback from the screens and LEDs uh, really means that the challenge isn't too difficult. You know, It gives me a lot of opportunities to adjust the car in the race. Um, so hopefully it can give me a bit of an advantage. Cool. Um, so yeah, my name is Josh Martin. I've uh, been a Frostmaster ambassador and race team pilot. Thank you so much for watching this video and a massive thank you to Frostmaster for all their support. Um, be sure to, to check them out on their socials and be sure to follow me along in the Ferrari Esports Series as we continue in 2021.